Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to use the quotient rule in differentiation. So here is the function whose derivative we have to find. These are the numerator and denominator terms. As you can see, they are algebra expressions, but we cannot simplify them further. And that's why we are going to use the quotient rule here. Now, before we use the rule, let's denote the numerator by the letter u and the denominator by the letter v. So the quotient rule states that the derivative that is f prime or f dash of x is nothing but v multiplied by the derivative of u minus u multiplied by the derivative of v divided by v square. That's it. It's very easy, friends. Now, we already know what are the u and v values, right? u, we took it as x minus 5, v as x cubed plus 1. Let's find the values of their derivatives. So, derivative of x minus 5. So, derivative of x is nothing but 1 and derivative of 5 is 0 because, yes, 5 is a constant. So, initially, friends, it's better that you write Write down the values of u, v and the derivatives and then substitute. Later if you want, you can even do it directly. Now let's find the derivative of v. So x cubed, the derivative will be, yes, 3x squared and derivative of 1 is anyways 0. That's it, we have got all the values. So let's substitute it here. The derivative is nothing but v. So v is nothing but x cubed plus 1. Very carefully substituted friends, don't get confused into the derivative of u which is 1 minus u, u is x minus 5 derivative of v over here divided by v square which is x cube plus 1 the whole square and easy to remember also friends just write the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the numerator minus numerator multiplied by derivative of denominator divided by the square of denominator very easy to remember the formula also now in this step itself we have got the derivative we have got the answer but we have to simplify it little bit further so let's open up the brackets here Yes, I will get 3x cubed minus 15x squared divided by, just keep the denominator as it is. Now, I think further I can bring the minus inside. So, let's do that. Yes. Did you see that there is x cube, x cube? These are like terms. So, what I can definitely do is subtract them. So, I'll get minus 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus 1 divided by Yes, this is the denominator. Nothing further can be done. So, this is the derivative. So, in this second example, we have an exponential expression and an algebra expression. So, let's see. Here you have a numerator and denominator which we cannot simplify further. So, we have to use the quotient rule. So, let's write the values of u and v over here. Yes, and let's also find the derivatives. So, derivative of e to the power of x is, yes, it will be always e to the power of x. Derivative of v. So, derivative of 1 is anyway 0. Derivative of x square is 2x. That's it, friends. Now, let's write the quotient rule formula. Okay. Step by step, let's do it. Now, let's substitute. So, v is nothing but 1 plus x square. Derivative of u is e to the power of x. Very carefully substitute the values. Okay. And the derivative of v is 2x divided by 1 plus x square, the whole square. That's it. We have got the derivative, but simplification is remaining. So, I can see e to the power of x common in both the terms. So, let's bring it out like this. Minus 2x divided by just keep the denominator as it is friends now did you see that this looks very similar to the identity 1 minus x the whole square just have a look 1 square plus x square minus 2x yes it's exactly the same so let me write this as 1 minus x the whole square so these things by practice you will be able to observe it very easily friends that's it no further simplification is possible so here is our derivative of f of x now, in our last example, we have trigonometric expressions. Again, numerator, denominator. So, what do we do? Yes, we use quotient rule. So, let's write u as cos x and v as 1 plus sin x. Let's find the derivatives. Derivative of cos is minus sine and derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of sin is, yes, cos x. So, let's write the quotient rule. Okay, like this. And now substitute. So we'll get v as 1 plus sin x into derivative of u is minus sin x minus. Now again u is cos x and derivative of v is again cos x divided by 
the denominator square. That's it. This is the derivative. But I think quite a lot of simplification is possible. So let me just open up the brackets and see what happens. Okay. Yes, I can already see sine square x and cos square x, friends. So do you recall that sine square x plus cos square x? Yes, it's equal to 1. So I think when we take out the minus sign, we will get, yes, sine square x plus cos square x. So this way you have to keep looking for patterns. Now I can write 1 here. Okay, once again, I can take the minus common, see? And yes, 1 plus sin x is there in the numerator and denominator. So let's cut out 1 and then we'll get minus 1 upon sin x plus 1. This is the derivative of f of x. So friends, I hope that you found this video on quotient rule useful. If so, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And please let me know your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care. Bye.